again here on the Phoenix Craft Server. It is season two, episode 15. And if you're wondering why we are so up close and personal, well, I uh, was AFK at my base yesterday and then these pictures appeared on Discord. And uh, I saw them and I went, oh no. So I logged back in and uh, yeah, <laughs> look at my Y value. I'm, uh, uh oh. And it's getting dark and I am, oh, okay. So I'm actually just above my base, but a very, very long way above. So thanks Oza, thanks a lot. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't get phantoms before I can get down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? Uh, this is why you never go AFK on this server because pranksters. All right, here we go. Oh, it's nice to get an aerial view of the base though. Looking sweet. My oh, I've still got Halloween pumpkins. Yeah, I really need to clean them up. So things have been pretty quiet on the Phoenix Craft server for a while for me. Um, and for a couple of other people, you know, it's that time of year when lots of things are going on. Uh, but anyway, on Discord the other day, I a little posted hey would anyone like to help me decorate raven city uh and i said sure pro and i'll be out to help now i i nominated pro because a while ago pro lover said to me hey we should prank raven city and i was like absolutely i'm up for that uh, but we just never got around to it uh, because there were other projects going on and then when Io posted that uh it was just yeah it, it was the right time now Io is known for saying in chat, hey, can someone sleep because I don't have a bed? So <laughs> Rolofer and I went out there with an awful lot of wool and wood. And uh, yeah, we decorated Raven City <laughs> with beds and uh, we had a great time doing it. Uh, it, it took us two hours. I've condensed it all down into this time lapse so that you can see all of the fun that we had because I think Io's already cleaned it up. But uh, yeah, that was that was one of those spontaneous pranks that, well, it wasn't really spontaneous. As I said, we'd had it planned for a while, but just never got around to getting it done. And uh, as well as the herringbone flooring pattern that I'm working on now, Pro is actually outside working on three giant beds that <laughs> <laughs> that uh, outside Raven City just sort of hanging in the air and uh, it looked great we had a great time so you know that was really good but I thought well uh, while you're watching this time lapse I'll just talk about uh, a few things like what's going on in the channel and uh, a little bit about late game Minecraft because in Phoenix Craft we really are in late game like we have farms for everything we have materials everyone's got diamonds it's gotten to the point where you really don't need to grind for much um, <clears throat> the drag has been killed multiple times and you know it's life is a lot easier you've got fully enchanted diamond armor diamond tools etc lots of XP farms so it makes it really a different game and a lot of people who play the game to develop their base and build farms and get geared up etc have sort of lost interest in the game and that's fine you know everyone plays the game differently but uh, for some some of us uh, late game is an opportunity to really get into some big projects and while I had plans to do big projects I've uh, I've kind of been in a bit of a slump lately in terms of Phoenix Craft like I made a lot of mistakes early on in my gameplay that meant that I built a lot of things all over the place rather than concentrating on just one project and I really regret that now because it's come back to bite me because I don't feel that I have a really solid base and I don't have a large sort of build that I can call my own like I did my 100 subscriber special the other day and showed off some of the amazing work on the server and this is from people who have focused on, you know, finishing one project and getting it done. And the results have been amazing. But uh, looking at those, I know that I don't really have anything like that that I can showcase. 
Now, when I started the season, I said I was going to do Radio City and I was really excited for Radio City. But then I got sidetracked by, you know, some uh, my cottages and my farms and running around doing stuff and Bray Park and all that. And Radio City has kind of fallen by the wayside. And I'm really finding it hard to get the enthusiasm to get back into it, if you know what I mean. So I'm really not sure where I'm going to go from here with Phoenix Craft. I need to sit back and have a look at the project. Like my project list is enormous. I have a page and a half of things that I want to do on the server, um, but I don't really know where to start. So I want to go back to my project list and look at them and think, which one of these is really grabbing me at the moment and focus on that um, and get it finished. Sorry, I have a bit of a cold at the moment, so if I sound really stuffy, that's why. Um, anyway, so I want to focus on that and get it finished. And I really think that it's going to be something to do with horses because I've really enjoyed working with horses this season. And I'm looking forward to getting some horse race courses done so that we can have some races and muck around and have fun like that. So possibly that will be my next project. Um, but in terms of the channel itself, um, I'm, as you know, I've started the uh, Adults Play Minecraft Java server and I'm having a ball on there and that was a real eye-opener for me because the idea that I had for that and what I wanted to develop is really my sort of play style. I do tend to like making uh, little sort of cozy builds and I like just mucking around with villages and making stories out of things and um, I think looking, doing that and looking at that and looking at what I'm trying to do on Phoenix Craft has really made me change my perspective on what I want to do in Phoenix Craft. I'm really not interested right now in doing enormous builds. Um, I think the public works department that I did the other day is kind of about the size that I'd like to stick to for a while and just get, see if I can sort of finish things. But as well as Adults Play Minecraft, um, I'm recording, or I have been recording in the background, a new series. And it's not Minecraft. Uh, and it's it's for two reasons. One, of, one reason is because the game that I'm recording is a game that I absolutely love. And I've, I'm having the best time doing this playthrough of it. Um, and the other reason is that it's given me an opportunity to practice this whole uh, commentary thing. Because, you know... Talking at the computer, getting it recorded, is <laughs> it's a skill. It needs developing. And I am improving, I think, on when I look back on my first videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm definitely improving. But I, I need some more practice. I need to feel more comfortable with the microphone. So doing this other series has really helped with that because it's a game where I can talk a lot uh, and not get blown up by creepers, which, as you know, tends to be a hazard with Minecraft. So that should be out hopefully the day after this video. And uh, I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it uh, as amusing as I did recording it. It was good fun. And uh, if it, you know, if it goes well, if people like it, I have a few other games that I'd like to add to my repertoire for the channel. Um, but of course, Minecraft's always going to be my main game because I just love this game so much. There is so much flexibility. And this goes back to what I was talking about before about late game Minecraft. Late game Minecraft is where you don't have to do a lot of hard work, but you can really let your imagination go. And I think builds like Bray Park and uh, some of the things I have coming up really showcase this aspect of Minecraft where you can just not worry about having to spend hours farming sand or whatever and just get in and build what you want. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching us prank Io a little. Uh, just so you know, he really enjoyed it. He, uh, he had a good laugh. He's very, um, Io does quite a few pranks and he's very good about taking pranks. Um, and I really enjoyed Oz's prank uh, that he did to me the other day, sending me up to <laughs> build height on a flying machine. He got tar a couple of days later, which was fantastic. So well done, Oza. And uh, with that said, I guess I'm going to wrap it up today. This has been a bit of a sort of a 
an update episode, I guess you would call it. Just wanted to let you all know what's going on. Have a look at the pranks that we've been doing. But uh, I promise in a few days after I've had a sit down and a think, I'm going to start doing some more projects on Phoenix Craft. So thinking about where I want to go from here and what I'd like to do. So if you're still here, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I just want to say thank you all for watching. This is Pen Pen Out. Bye.